Hello, this is the very first time I have done a screencast, so we'll see how this goes. I'm in Photoshop and I've opened up my image. I'm going to show you how I would get rid of this little piece of bra here that you can see. Um, here's my background layer over here in my layers panel. And this should be pretty similar to what your Photoshop looks like. If it's not, then um, you can go up here to Window and click on what you want to be able to see. Here's your layers right here. Um, so I've got my background layer, but I don't want to work on the background layer because if something happens that I don't like, I always want to be able to go back to the background layer. I have no idea why my computer just got super bright. Um, <laughs> anyways, you would click Control, hold Control down and hit J to make a new background or a new layer. So here's your layer right here that you're going to be working on. Um, I want to zoom in so that I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to make it pretty zoomed in big here. Um, since this is such a small area, I want to make sure it looks okay. Um, so I'm going to grab, and what I would normally do is go in here and grab like the patch tool, but I don't have, or you don't have that on your computer, Shonda, so I'm going to use the clone tool um, to show you how I do it. I've got it on opacity of 100%, and... I'm going to give it probably like a, I don't know, 25% hardness um, just because this area right here where the shirt is has a bit of an edge um, that I want to be able to butt up against. So, alright, I've got that and I'm going to hit Alt to um, select the area that I want to clone from. I'll clone from as close to it as I can. And if you see, like, the shading goes from brighter to darker over here, so you're going to want to, like, click directly above where you're going to be cloning to um, to keep that shading the same. So I'm just going to sweep this in here and try to butt it up right to the edge of the shirt. And that should look pretty good. Um, this is going super slow because I'm running the screencast software. Um, but if I was to zoom out, you would probably notice a little bit of a bulge looking thing right here just because the color isn't absolutely perfect. That's where I would go in with my patch tool and fix it, but you don't have the patch tool. So I'm going to use the brush tool, which is right here, and set it um, at a 0% hardness and bring the opacity down to about uh, 11 or 12 percent. I'll do 11 percent. And we're just going to use a brush to blend this in right here. Um, so what I would do is add another a blank layer. You do that by clicking this little uh, piece of paper looking thing right here. And that will add a blank layer that we're going to be painting on. And then um, right here the foreground color is a color that you'll be using to paint with. So you're going to want to click that and then it turns into a dropper and you can hit alt actually you don't even need to hit alt I'm going to cancel out of this um, you don't even need to click that at all whatsoever just hit alt and it'll turn into the eyedropper and then you can select the color from in here that you want to paint with so I would just pick kind of a neutral color that's in this area I'll just click right here and then that color will show up down here in the foreground color. So since we're painting at such a low opacity, it should blend in just perfect. Um, so you're just going to go ahead and I'm clicking and painting this area. And then I'm going to zoom out. So we'll get the zoom tool and you can hit Alt and that will give you the minus zoom. And this is going to take a while because the computer is so slow. Um, once we zoom out, you can probably won't notice much of anything there, but it's actually bugging me because it looks like a little too smooth. Um, you can lower the opacity of this layer over here that brings back some of the texture. And then let's zoom out again. I'm usually zooming in and out, in and out, in and out, but this is going so slow. It still looks kind of funny to me. Okay, so then what I would do, see I can see this like dark area right here. I'm going to bring the opacity all the way back up to 100%. And I'm going to go up here to filter. 
noise, add noise. And then I'm gonna increase this. If you notice, it's only adding noise to the area that I just painted on right here. You can see a little preview of it right here. But if I type in something ridiculous like 16, you can see that's like way too much noise. But if I go with like a 3 or a 4, it usually blends in pretty good. And I think that looks good. Um, I've got it on Gaussian and monochromatic. And I'll hit OK. And I think that looks pretty believable. I'm going to zoom out. Actually, there's this little red spot right here that's bugging me big time. So I'm going to add, I'll grab my brush and I will sample some color from right here. And just paint over that so that you can't really notice it as much. And I meant to hit the zoom. I'm doing this in the dark so I can't see anything on my keyboard. <laughs> Um, I'm going to zoom out and make sure it looks okay, and I would say, yep, looks good to me. Um, that is how I would do that without using the patch tool. And then I'd go ahead and hit layer, flatten my image to bring it back down to one layer. And then I could go ahead and close it or do whatever else on it. Um, try to always make a new layer whenever you're doing anything new. Okay, that's it.